Ladies and gentlemen, it's that special time of the day. It's the best time of the day. You now locked and loaded with your main man, my dig, and my dog, Troy King. Pipe down and turn this up, man. Yeah. Third eye open. Focus. Yeah. Roll up my tree, just smoking. Everything potent. Potent. Say what I want, no glucose, no sugar coating. Now nah. break it down. I do my history. Plus I'm the truth and I'm super sharp mentally. Boy, I'm a god, you're not seeing me physically. Plus I stop you. I'm talking about literally me and my shorty. So don't see the chemistry. chemistry. Work for what we got. Hustle hard a lot. Y'all can never take this energy. Nah. Writing on the wall. Plus I'm still a dog. Half of it, I don't let you see. Rock a koofy with the shades on, dog. Nobody coming after me. It might be an actual casualty. Saying like Devin Haney, Reinhardt Garcia has the potential chance to knock off Devin Haney. Listen, that's true. The potential is always there, but is Devin Haney going to let himself get put to bed? No, he's not. Even if he get hurt, you will have to put him out cold. And it has to be early in the round. And he's still going to be trying to survive. So you're not, no. We're going to play some music real quick. Listen, I've been making, I made some tostones. These are tostones. These are great. Plantain. You see what I'm saying? You know what? Since the volume was kind of, we got to take it back real quick. The volume was kind of choppy, we got to take it back. All right. You gotta bring it a little closer. You know what I'm saying? If I don't drip on them, it's not a guy. In the off season. Last one. I'm thinking, relax. I'm thinking. Hey, he said Bo Jackson better get hip. Remember when Bo Jackson blew out his hip and he was limping? He said, ain't no welcome, Matt, but I'm going to welcome y'all to this Scotty drip. All right? Know that. Listen, if that's the Scotty, if, there's, if my man was Retro J, Retro J, rest in peace to Retro J. My man Monty is Scotty Drip. Scotty Dripping. Listen, I'm Kill Jackson. Welcome to my outlet is to plug in. Okay? We just going to, listen, whatever you like to plug into, this is not what I'm plugging into. I plug in so that I can come on here. I plug into the source. You know what I'm saying? You know how in the Matrix when they be, man, you know what? That's another story. Listen, this is what we need to talk about. People keep talking about Devin Haney could get stretched by Ryan Garcia. Yes, the ability to know is unlimited and the ability to do is unlimited if it's humanly possible. What's also humanly possible is Devin not letting himself get stopped. <laughs> I don't think Devin going to be letting himself get stopped in there. Like... He has, uh, what you want to say, um, experience. You know what I mean? So 
he's not. He, there's no. There's a high chance he could get caught with one shot due to his boxing ability. But what I did notice is that he does know how to hold. His body is physically strong. Um, as in regards to what Regis, is pro, Regis Progre is saying, pause. You know, um, but far as him delivering the power into punching power, that's not always a thing. But when we what we do know is Ryan Garcia has it. If he catches Devin clean, <clears throat> he could he could hurt him. But this is the thing, Devin Haney. There is no listen. There is no weight weight clauses, and there is no you know none of that stuff going on. So the more weight you have, the easier it is for you to take a shot. Okay. For example, when um, <clears throat> Ryan Garcia was at 35, he, he listen, you, it's hard for you to take shots to the chin or shots to the body. Be Why? Because you don't have the fluids that you normally have in your body. So the water weight is not there to absorb the impact. Remember, if the outside, if, if the outside or inside water is remo remoisten the body, excuse me, you know what? Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm tripping. <clears throat> but I, I'm gonna be back. Don't trip. We coming back. We coming back. Pause. This is what I wanted to say. Um, the outside waters and the inside waters are are remoistening the body. So that means if you have water. <clears throat> in your body, <clears throat> that means your body is there for your body to have buoyancy. Buoyancy is working out, working inside a pool, and it's less absorption on the impact. It's less absorption on the hardcore impact. So when you go into the water, you start making the hardcore impact, the buoyancy of the water. You make it soft. This is why water is space. Because you could float. You could do anything but walk on it. You could sink in it. But then you could be walking in the water. So look, this is the thing. When you have more water weight on your body, your body has more buoyancy to absorb the impact of the punches. Why do you think Devin Haney doesn't care about having a hydration clause? Because it helps him. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if they got like any type of clause in his weight, John, but it definitely helps, you know. It helps both fighters. It helps both fighters take and deliver punches. Who does it help equivocably more? It helps Ryan because he's the taller man. So he could, he looks, he's going to be more comfortable going up to welterweight. You see what I'm saying? He's going to be more comfortable going, moving up to welterweight, getting work. Because boxing go by height. So, yes, of course, Devin can, anybody could potentially get caught due to your knockout ratio. Now, Devin don't have a high knockout ratio, so that's why the odds are so high in Vegas for him to stop Ryan at any time. It's going to be high. This is why when you trust it, you don't gamble in games of speculation. Only when you betting on yourself because Floyd told you, if you know you're going to win, then it's not a game of speculation. But if you don't know, if you're not Devin Haney or Ryan, it's a game of speculation. You don't invest. <clears throat> but I will say, if... uh. If it goes to distance, it's, it, listen, if it goes to distance, I'm, I'm going to give Devin a split decision. If anything, 
it could go for Ryan stopping him much quicker or even later. See what I'm saying? So we just have to wait, see. Um, due to the stylist and matchups of how they fight, it just depends. It really depends, dog. You see what I'm saying? It depends on how they gonna get to get to work. It just depends if if Ryan has a better chance of stopping someone if he moves backwards. If he moves forward, it's gonna be hard. Well, it's not gonna be harder, but it depends on how he's feeling. He said he just gonna run through him because Devin ain't got no power. If he go in there with that attitude, he could make the shot harder than what it intended to be on the overhand. So you got to be careful. If he used the jab off the back foot, work, and run Devin into shots, he could break him down. If he go forward behind a strong jab, he could still break him down. But he will have to go forward behind a strong jab, controlling the middle of the ring, and not jabbing to the head, jabbing to the gut. You have to, if you're Ryan Garcia, you have to jab to the guts. If you're Devin Haney, you have to jab to the chest because you don't want to jab to the guts in fear of getting hit with the over with the chopping down right and jabbing up to the face could leave you in position to get hit because you're reaching up. So jabbing the chest still allows you to score. You're jabbing the body and you break the man down. You heard what my homie Aaron say, hitting that chest will break you down. Pause. And, it, and that's the thing, body shots hurt anybody. You have to be aware of that. You feel me? So, I just want to do a little quick little video of, of, of you know, Devin and, and Ryan. Um, even though this is the 13th, Saturday, uh, Big Baby Anderson and, and Cubs from Belgium is fighting. Big Baby's going to stop him. Dude is an undersized heavyweight. He's awkward. He doesn't really have, he has a decent skill, but Big Baby is going to stop him. My man Prentice Brewer is coaching tonight, so we're here to see Prentice Brewer. Tiger probably, most definitely is going to be in the building. They training out of Houston, J. Prince Gym. Um, looking forward to seeing that, <clears throat> whether it's on pay-per-view, the zone, whatever it's on. I'm going to just be taking a look and seeing what it's on. But <clears throat> this video was more, more or less about the potential chances of Ryan stopping Devin. But I'm telling you, blood, it's going to be hard because Devin is not in there to let himself get stopped. And he's very skillful defensively, and he has an IQ. He knows how to hold, when to hold, when to tie up, and he moves his head. So it's going to be hard to do anything with Devin. He stays in the gym. I hope he stay on the prayer rug, you know. So, and, and, you know, it depends. He could be getting work with Amari. You know what I'm saying? That work will help him because Amari right-handed and can fight left-handed. I don't know why Amari won't put out that footage of me and him getting that work. He don't want, he don't want me to shine. He don't want, he, he don't want, listen, his dad don't want me to see uh, don't want, want y'all to see me chopping chopping folks up in the gym, so you could really see what 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 this what this work be looking like for real. You feel me? It's not a game. It's not. So you can you could think what you want, but it's not one of them things we call a a, a game out here. <clears throat> Where's my pillow for my back? But yeah, man, Devin Devin gonna be working. But people is just mentioning the potential chance of Devin stopping Ryan. You know what I'm saying? Or Ryan stopping Devin, vice versa. Got to give them both a fair shot. But who has the bigger knockout ratio and more power it is clearly uh, Ryan Garcia. So... Just depending on who shows up on what night, whose game plan takes fruition, you never know what you're going to see. The consensus is Devin Haney, you know, because he puts in more work and blah, 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 blah. But uh, we, we've never seen, I mean, Devin can say what he want, but we've never seen, we've never seen him in there with Tank. 
And believe me, if you get in there with Tank and Tank feel like he can't punch, Tank is going to do the same thing sparring and sparring. He's going to come forward trying to stop him brutally. And with eights on, it's not going all night, buddy. It was a little chilly out there today, but um, listen, Devin Haney and Ryan, if if Ryan wins, it's going to be maybe some TKO stoppage, a knockout, you know, an eye busted, you know, something like that. Dan, Devin wins, it could be a late round stoppage. Maybe he hurt him when he got tired. Um... Uh, let me see. I, I just want to see the fight. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was just thinking, what if Ryan was just in the middle with the high guard and Devin just trying to rip to his body and come up the middle and Ryan just playing with it? You just never know, bro, with these dudes. So we're going to pay attention to and see what's going on. But the consensus is Devin Haney. But uh, Ryan definitely has potential to stop him. He has speed, power. Boxing ability. And like my man Lowe said, he had Tank uncomfortable in there for a little bit. So, you know, Tank just didn't come out there doing like he do anybody else. He was uncomfortable. He wasn't Ryan can punch. So, that listen, he was uncomfortable in the sense that he just wasn't in the high guard letting Ryan get all shots. That's how you get stopped. Hey, listen, don't do it. Don't do it. This was just a simple video of people stating that Ryan has potential chance to stop Devin. Yes, he does. A higher chance. Will it happen? Who knows? But he does have a chance. But Devin is very intelligent. And once... Excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm sure once Devin feels any type of... It gets clipped or feels something on the glove or once he feels it, pause, pause. We're going to know what he decides to do. It's gonna, you, we're going to know in the first round. That's how I'll be looking at it. While I'm looking at it, I'm saying, all right, he's going to jab. He's going to either slip it or he's going to catch it. If he catches the jab and his jab is sharp, the person who's catching the jab they can feel how heavy your jab is. So then after that, they thinking, you know what? And then he catch the hook or do so, you know, you never know. So, but we do know Ryan can punch. So once Devin feels the resistance and how he's going to be willing to take that with n no weight or anything like that, you know, then we're going to see because it's going gonna, it's gonna to show. And it don't weight don't really make you punch hard, but it it does able it does allow you to take a shot. You know what I mean, especially to the guts a little better, and to the arms. Now listen, it don't matter how big you is, for real, for real. If you get hit in the head a certain way, you are gonna be hurt. It just don't matter. Don't matter how big you is. If you don't see the shot, you are gonna be blew out. Boom, you are gonna be drunk. But if you see it, you can weather it. Body, it don't matter. If you see it, your nervous system is ready. But sometimes when they sneaking them in there, <clears throat> it don't matter if you're a hard puncher or not. You can, they can still hurt you. So if Devin, if Devin beat Ryan, I would say stop him. I'm going to say it's to the body. A late round body stoppage. Because Mexicans can't take it to the body. If it's a stoppage on Ryan's, it could be a body shot or a head shot. And it's going to have to, it could be anywhere, early, middle, or late. So, and, and if Ryan wins, is I want to say it's a 60-40, he's going to have to stop him. If it's a decision, it's 55-45 Devin. Devin, if it go to a decision, it's 60-40. Him stopping Ryan is 
unlikely. And this is the thing. He can't be playing trying to see because he could get stopped in the midst of trying to see because Ryan could punch. You know what I mean? So we just got to watch, man. We going to see. It's in the club. It's about eight, nine days away. We're going to definitely tune in, see what it's looking with. See, see what it's looking with. Saucy. That's when the, listen, when the cannabis hits, it gets saucy in here. Okay? We're going to play that music. Scotty. See, I just tricked you real quick at you with you with the Scotty. Um, we definitely going to see. We definitely going to see and we going to pay attention. We definitely going to pay attention. On that note, I'm going to hit y'all with that Kingsman. Listen, that Kingsman be hit. Be, listen, he be really talking. He be really talking. Hear the laugh. If you never know, you know Ryan, King Ryan. He could win. Donald Trump, you amount to nothing. You gotta squeeze and dump it. I'm not a fucking pucker. I'm killing you niggas like a chicken nugget. Man. Hey, man, he said I got Katrina dripping and my shit was flooded. Fuck a deal, I don't want a budget. I think that's what he said. Let's see. Yeah. Saucing on you niggas like a chicken nugget. Like a chicken nugget. That shit was flooded. Nigga, fuck a budget. And commas coming. And seems like I'm Willie Beeman. Listen. If you don't be careful, Devin, you will not be breathing. For a quick second. Ryan is going to hit you, bro. You have to be on your defense the whole fight because his power be carrying in the late rounds. He stopped Luke Campbell in the late rounds to the body with a... Oh, my God! You see what I'm saying? So you got to be careful. You can't just be doing anything. And this is why I'm intrigued to see the fight. Because if Ryan starts boxing off the back foot to keep Devin at bay, Devin going to have to come through there. Headshot. Yeah. <laughs> he going to have to get that off. He's literally going to be having to get them off, my G. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to be work. It's going to be some work to try to walk through there because he's in, he's in shape. You see what I'm saying? He's in shape. He cracking too. He sharp on the mitts. You don't want to get hit and then be. Oh, hold on, wait. You gotta, you gotta be on it. And 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 Ryan, listen. If you're not on your A game, you can still get stopped by Mr. Haney, Muslim Haney. You could get stopped by cuz. Let me tell you why. The man's jab is sharp. Am I lying? Or is, is it flying? Correct! It's flying. His jab is flying out the thing. It's sharp. So you can't be... You can't be... Listen, Devin. You be running your mouth. I'm liable to slap you in the back of your head. Excuse me. I'm liable to slap you in the back of your head, but if you don't learn how to move the head a little bit, Ryan, catch the jabs back out of there, Correct. Devin will be touching you to the body and to the head to eventually you're going to slow down from the jabs and he's going to be going to your guts if he coming forward catching punches, selling out on the Sugar Ray. Got to sell out. That Apple Pay. Hit, listen, hit the cash app. Hit the cash app, my G. Stop playing with me. Hit the cash app at Cuerno de Chivo. Dollar sign Cuerno de Chivo with a K. 
Dollar sign Cardinal Dave Chivo with a K. Hit the kid shit, cuz. For real though. <laughs> no, but if Ryan don't get it together, blood, I'm telling you, Devin is gonna be sticking, flicking, fainting, and hooking. You don't wanna be a part of that. That could damage you worse than getting stopped by tank because you're taking a 12 round beating. You do not want that from a man known as Muslim Haney. That's what we gonna call him. We talking about Muslim Haney? Oh, okay, yeah, no. Yeah, he gonna get you. Muslim Haney. I just like the way it sound, pause. And then we gonna, hey, King Ryan, King Garcia, whatever you wanna call him. You know what I mean? He Leo gang, this is why. And his, his birthday is on the Lion Gates portal. This is, listen, that's why you gotta be careful. With them Leo Negros. So you definitely want to be careful. Listen, tune in. We're going to, listen, we're going to be going live with Norbs at All podcast with my man Low Nose Boxing. Listen, we I don't think we can be getting on the mill cities in them no more. It's just be too much corniness going on. All right, niggas sending me blogs every five minutes, man. No, man, go on, chill. Cause then you be kicking me off. Hey, we well, y'all seen it. But low nose. I'm looking for my man Derek. And then uh pause. And then um Norbs at all. We gonna be getting work on there. Twitter, post Instagram, like, subscribe, hit the cash app. Warn yourself.